Hey guys, welcome to Phil's Tech Help. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the Parrot Air Drone 2.0. The Para Air Drone comes with two different holes, one for indoor use and the other for outdoor use. You can also plug in a flash drive to record video on board. You can record video wirelessly, but its quality isn't as good. The Para Air Drone has a whopping 7 sensors, it has a 1GHz ARM processor, a 3-axis accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer, a pressure sensor, ultrasonic sensor, a QVGA 60fps bottom camera for measuring ground speed, 720p forward-facing camera for recording video. That was a mouthful. Now that we have the specs aside, let's go ahead and fly this thing. The aircraft will hover itself without you touching the controls, but once you do, it's a whole blast of fun. To control it, push the takeoff button and tilt your phone in the direction you want your drone to go. The Air Drone can do a variety of flips and tricks, such as this one. The drone has a flight time of 12 minutes on its 1000 mAh battery, but upgrade options are available. The internal 720p camera is kind of grainy. For quality video, I would recommend attaching a GoPro to the front of the drone. Let's finally talk about how high this thing can go. I was able to climb up to about 175 feet before I started losing Wi-Fi signal. The flying performance isn't as good as the DJI Phantom, but then again, you can't control that with the iOS device. Anyways, thanks for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and check out my other videos.